We'll build simple but useful projects using Python's tkinter, which is a graphical user interface, and Skullite for the database. Don't worry if you're new to either of these. We'll walk through everything step by step, and by the end of this series, you'll be confident building your own desktop apps with Python. Let's start with a small example using tkinter. We're going to create a basic window that says, Hello to Kinter. First, we import to Kinter and give it a short name. Then, we create the main window using this code. We set a title for the window to give it a name, and we define the size of the window with this code, 300 pixels wide and 200 pixels tall. Now let's add a label to the window. We use a label widget and set its text to, Hello to Kinter. Just a friendly message. We place the label in the window using this line and add some vertical padding so it looks nicer. Finally, we start the GUI loop with this line of code. This keeps the window open and responsive, waiting for user interactions. Let's run this code now. You should see a small window pop up with the message, Hello to Kinter. Simple and clean. All right, now let's take a quick look at SQLite 3, which is a lightweight built-in database in Python. We start by importing the module. Next, we create a connection to a file called people.db. If the file doesn't exist, Python will create it for us. Then, we create a cursor. It helps us run SQL commands. We use the cursor to create a table named people. It has two columns. One is ID, which automatically increments, and the other is name, which stores text. After creating the table, we save the changes with one line of code and then close the connection with another. Let's run this code now. You'll notice a new file named people.db gets created in your project folder and it contains the table we just defined. That's it for this first video. In the next one, we'll connect our GUI to this database and start doing something more dynamic. See you there.